Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Johanna. For those of you who are new here, welcome. For those of you who are returning, welcome back. In today's video, we're going to be setting up the next work week in my Hobonichi Weeks Mega Everyday Carry. And if that is of interest to you, please stay tuned. Okay, we're gonna do this video a little differently than in the past. Um, June has been a bit of a dumpster fire for me. So we're actually gonna flip through June first. Then we're gonna set up the week uh, that I'm going into. I don't even know what week it is, maybe 26, 25, something like that. And then I'll end with all of the footage that I have for any of the meals that I've eaten during the work week, which is like maybe five, because again, we'll talk about that in a little bit. But this is my Moterm cover in the colorway taupe. I did get this from Amazon. I don't link things in my videos generally, so if there's anything that you see here, please let me know and I can always uh, just send you the link via comments. Uh, I do have a mega everyday carry. So basically this is a mega Hobonichi Weeks. It just has extra note pages. And uh, this is in the colorway peach. It is a hard cover with a linen uh, cover on it, but I have a plastic cover on it so that I can keep that pristine. I do prefer to work on this outside of the cover, so I'm going to take this out and I'll be right back. Now, I did film a few of these videos, but uh, I don't know that I ever got around to posting them because the weekend of June 3rd, yeah, because Friday was June 3rd. That weekend, I started having knee problems. And so I think I did this spread with you guys. Again, I, I can't remember. Um, but, but I don't think I did a flip through and set up with you guys since this again it's it's hard for me to remember and i didn't look at my uh, video catalog that's posted up on youtube so the quote of the week was meh because it was just a meh kind of week and then going into the week of the sixth uh, these days here i was out sick because of knee pain now i always deal with knee pain but uh, this one was particularly bad and so i thought i'll just i'll get some bed rest and and that'll be that on the morning of the 8th, I woke up with uh, a sore throat and um, congestion because a family member had tested positive for COVID. I did a home test and I tested positive, reached out to my doctor, went in, uh, did an official test so that I was counted in the numbers for the state, as well as she recommended that I take the Paxlovid, uh, just because even though I am vaccinated and boosted with the first one, I don't become eligible for the second boost until July, um, I still am at higher risk of complications. And so I took that Paxlovid for five days. And so I was on quarantine from the 9th through the 13th. So I had set this up thinking I was going to be back to work for this day because Friday was a holiday here in Hawaii, uh, but I didn't go to work at all this week. There was uh, another quote of me, nothing got done because I never made it into the office. And so for the 14th through the 17th, again, I think I had filmed this, but I never loaded it. Uh, but I was really working towards finishing up a project that was due on the 23rd. And so it was busy. Um, I filmed the lunches. It looked pretty standard. Monday was the last day of quarantine, so that's why I didn't work there. And then the quote of the week was, I'm not stubborn. My way is just better. I did pick up a bunch of anime stickers. Uh, I believe when I filmed this one right here, I had done a flip through of all of the anime stickers and I'll actually show you that kind of briefly in just a second. But again, I never loaded this video and so you've never gotten to see that. Uh, and then this week right here on Sunday the 19th, up and through Saturday the 18th, my symptoms had pretty much gone away. I was dealing with just a little bit of congestion, but I think I have allergies, I don't know, uh, because I'm always dealing with a little bit of congestion in the morning. 
but I woke up on the 19th with the sore throat and heavily congested. I did another home test, tested positive again, told my uh, manager and my coworker, and I was just going to just double check that everything was cool, that I could go back to work, but my doctor's like, nope, you gotta stay in quarantine for five days. So I was in quarantine for five more days. And again, the worst of it was the uh, sore throat and congestion. The sore throat was gone like the third day. The congestion uh, just is here on and off. I have literally not stepped out of my house since Friday the 17th, not even to go get the mail. So yeah, tomorrow's gonna be my first day back at work. I'm just going to really have to buckle down. I missed my 23rd deadline and uh, I'm just going to have to really scramble. And it's a, it's a huge project. I was already down a week. I made a little headway and I'm just, I'm down. So I just, I need to work on that. There's a whole bunch of other projects I've got after that, but you get sick, you get sick. What are you going to do? And so here I just uh, stuck a sticker albeit crookedly, did a little bit of journaling just because I certainly had some thoughts. And so this is the week that we're going to set up together um, for the week of the 26th. It's the 26th week of the year, so that means we're halfway through the year. Yay, great. I'll be so done with June because I'm so over it. It is a full work week. Uh, next week is going to be a four-day work week because July 4th is a holiday here in the U.S. I've already... Um, blacked out the lines because this is going to be something this is something here and let me show you where I'm keeping my anime stickers because again I've been a little obsessed this is one of the tabs that I showed in my recent haul video and again I really love the colorway I love that it's paper but also repositionable and I've been keeping my anime stickers in here and it's just on the bookshelf I also keep the tabs here and these are just some random washi uh, tapes some of this uh, my friend poet had sent to me and some of it I was using for another project but here is where I keep all of those sticker sheets and so there's just a lot of them. After that original uh, set that I showed you guys, I bought three more sets because I clearly have no chill when it comes to things. But let's pick a colorway. All right, so I've uh, decided to do this one. The other one that I had put down originally is beautiful, but I wanted to have a little bit more space to do some writing. And so I'm going to move this. Oh, didn't mean to rip that. And then I'm going to put this down. And they are washy, and so they can be easily ripped. So you just need to be careful. And I'm going to try to put it down straight. <laughs> kind of had a problem with that last week. Okay, so that is all the way down. Make sure that none of the edges are up. And then I can put... Because I'm going to need all of the space here. Oh no, it's one massive project. So I can put a sticker because it's a project that has like seven different parts. And then within the seven different parts, there's multiple students per part. So yeah, um, I can just put something right there. And I can use this little ghosty down here. Just want a little bit of space up here and then I'll start putting some color down and marking out what these things mean again it helps that the sticker is really big because then it just takes up a lot of real estate Although this colorway, I guess, would have worked next week because of 4th of July, but that's fine. 
it's not like I don't have a million stickers and just this thing. Plus I have stickers other places, but these are all of my anime ones. So let's pick a color. So I'm gonna, I made a little line here just to make some visual difference between this. And so this means something. Oh, it's pretty. This means something. This here. This here. And then this up here. Oh, I think that's really pretty. Okay, so let me write down what all this stuff means and I'll bring you guys right back. I forgot to put my tracker, so, or it's a bit of a simplified mood tracker. So we're just gonna do this on the side here. This is a stencil that my friend Christy had sent me from Christy Marie Designs. I always have her uh, shop linked in these videos. And so at the end of the week, I'll just mark out which one I was feeling. And then I change this a little bit. Usually I would do thoughts in and thoughts out. I'm just going to be doing thoughts of the week. So whether I have any particular thoughts on uh, Monday morning, if I write something down on Thursday, it doesn't really matter. Just <clears throat> I wanted to write something down uh, for the week. And uh, this is, I'm hoping, going to help me just be focused to manage my stress because I'm behind on a project and I've already got projects stacked up and those are going to fall behind afterwards. I really need to just focus and not ramp up my anxiety because then that sometimes can just shut me down mentally. Anyway, really simple process. It helps when you've got a big sticker. I like these little ones, but they're harder to place for me to take up real estate. If I wanted to do more text, then I would use smaller stickers. And I like that there is a, a variety of the different sizes. And so um, if that's it for me, if you're not interested in the what I've eaten so far this month, <laughs> then uh, that's it. The, uh, that's the end of the video. Sorry, stumbling and fumbling, just trying to match up my brain with my words. I'd love to know what you guys think of this. And as always, Allah. Hey guys, lunch for today, Monday. Nope, nope, nope. Tuesday, May 31st, last day of May, is a deluxe salmon salad from 7-Eleven. Uh, I walked there this morning from the bus. My legs weren't feeling that bad, so it's a bit of a trek, but totally worth it because you're going to see a lot of these two places. Um, I also went to the shop right next door, which is Shige's, and picked up some tofu nuggets. I'm not going to finish them all today. I don't even know if I'm going to warm them up because all of this has been in the fridge. But I'll mix that up with the sauce. I'll have a couple of these. Uh, breakfast was just a cup of coffee and a spam musubi. And I'll have a Gatorade since it has been a bit of a sweaty day. <laughs> but that's lunch for today. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hey guys, lunch for today, Wednesday. Oh, June 1st, happy June, is this from 7-Eleven. It's Cheesy Beef Mac. I don't know if that's a big thing where you're from, but it's kind of a, a drive-in local staple here. Uh, and a banana. Breakfast was a cup of coffee and a sandwich. It's only been a few hours and I can't remember what I had for breakfast, but that's what, it, that's what I had. Anyway, that's lunch for today. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hey guys, lunch for today, Thursday, June 2nd is Sloppy Joe. I uh, actually was supposed to have something else, but I'll have that tomorrow. Uh, but I've had taste for this for a while, so I made some last night and I've been looking forward to it since then. Uh, some pickles and a peach. Coffee was for breakfast and a sandwich. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hey guys, lunch for today. Friday, June 3rd is a little bento I had picked up. On Tuesday, I had gone to 7-Eleven and this little bento place and I picked up enough so that I'd have lunch throughout the week. I was actually supposed to have this yesterday, but then it was Sloppy Joe Day, and that definitely <laughs> was uh, what I was craving. Uh, so this is two shrimp tempura with a vegetable tempura. These are the two leftover tofu nuggets I think I showed you guys on Tuesday. I have some leftover pickles from yesterday, and then these are just uh, katsu sauce that go with this. Uh, the best way to describe katsu sauce is if you took some Worcestershire and some ketchup, maybe some sesame oil, 
it's not a good replication of the flavor, but it's definitely a very distinct flavor. And those sauces are for this here. Uh, breakfast was a sandwich and some coffee. I do have a orange Gatorade right there. Uh, it is a bus home day, so it's definitely more of a sweaty day for me. And I like to preempt any sort of cramping by drinking at least one Gatorade a day. That's a lot of information. Uh, if you ever notice when I'm doing these videos, if my voice is very quiet, it's because I normally film these with my door open. I'm by myself in the office today, so I can just be as loud as I want to be. But normally there's a, my coworkers just sitting right outside my office. In fact, I can see into my boss's office when she's here. And then our clerk sits out in, in the hallway outside of my office. And so, yeah, I just try to be a little bit quiet because I'm a little self-conscious. Anyway, long story short, that's my lunch for today. I hope you have or had a great weekend. Bye. Hey guys, lunch for today, June 14th, Tuesday, is kind of a deconstructed musubi. So uh, we had rice and Portuguese sausage last night. So I've got a ball of that. There's some Portuguese sausage inside and then one that fell out. And then I've got some seaweed here. And then I'm just going to eat it in tandem because these are just little strips. I was out last week sick so there's no film footage from there. Um, I do have a cup of noodle if I get hungry later. Um, my appetite's okay but it isn't what it was before I got sick so yeah but I had to come in the office because I'm I'm already behind on some reports. Anyway that's lunch for today. Breakfast was just coffee. Um, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hey guys, lunch for today, Wednesday, June 15th, is a ramen bowl with some broccoli, chershu, and roast pork. Uh, this I had in my stash. This is from the fridge. Uh, stomach is a little dodgy in the last hour, so we'll see how this goes. I do have some Gatorade and some water. It's really humid today, and breakfast was just a coffee and a donut. Anyway, that's it for today. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hey guys, lunch for today, Thursday, June 16th, is a Costco hot dog. Uh, they went to Costco last night, so you'll actually see Costco pizza for lunch tomorrow. I had some Cheez-Its in the office and a cup of peaches. Uh, breakfast was just a cup of coffee and, oh, a bacon, egg, and cheese biscuit from <coughs> McDonald's. That's lunch for today. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hey guys, lunch for today, Friday, June 17th, is two slices of Costco pizza. Those are actually the same peaches from yesterday and some Gatorade. Uh, it's been really humid here, so I drink a lot of Gatorade just so I don't get cramps. Breakfast was a, um, what do you call it? A sausage McGriddle from McDonald's. I actually just put it in the fridge from yesterday and a cup of coffee. Hope you have or had a great weekend. I'll talk to you later. Bye.